So we are going to solve practice problem 4.10 from Sadiku book and the question is obtain the Thevenin equivalent circuit of this circuit in the terminal here. We have two terminals, terminal A and terminal B. So to find out the Thevenin equivalent circuit, we need to know two things. The first one is the Thevenin voltage, which is the same as the open circuit voltage of the terminal. And then we need to find out the Thevenin resistance, which is usually by turning off the dependent, independent, independent sources in the circuit. And we look from the terminal of the equivalent resistance. But here we have independent voltage source, so that method cannot be used. So we need to use another method. So there, there are two methods that we can use. So method one is by shorting the AB and the method two is by putting some voltage source in terminal A and B. Okay, now let's do the first step. So step one. And step one is finding the open circuit voltage between A and B or the Thevenin voltage. Okay, let's see what we can do from here. Okay, this looks like a single loop, so I will use loop analysis here. So let's name this loop, loop I, okay? Okay, first we need to do KVL at loop I. And then KVL said that the sum of voltage in a loop will equal to zero and we will start from this resistor which is 5 ohm and because that is resistance we need to multiply it by the current so 5 multiplied by i and similarly we have 10 here which is multiplied by i and then we have dependent voltage source and the current is flowing from positive to negative so the sign will be positive and then the magnitude is 4 vx for Vx and then lastly we have this 15 ohm again it is a resistance so we need to multiply it by the current so all of this will equal to zero and then we can just sum of the i so 5 plus 10 plus 15 that is 30 30 i plus 4 Vx is equal to zero okay now we see that Vx is here and I is going from the bottom to the up and I will name this not as our ground. So the voltage here will be zero. And then if Vx is here, there should be a current that flowing from this node to the downside. But the current is flowing to there. So we can just put the minus sign there. So Vx is actually 5 multiplied by i but the direction is to the different uh, the direction is to the opposite of i so the sign will be minus so we can plug this into this so vx is minus 5i let's do that so i will have 30i plus 4 multiplied by minus 5i is equal to 0. Okay, now I will have 30 of i minus 20i is equal to 0 and that yields 10i is equal to 0 and i is 0 ampere. And i is 0 ampere so we can calculate this voltage from i using Ohm's law. So, V is I multiplied by R, and I is 0, and R is 15. So, I will have VAB is 0 volt. And remember that VAB is also the Thevenin voltage. So, let's have that. So, we will have the Thevenin voltage is equal to 0 volt. Okay. Now the first step is done, 
the Thevenin voltage, we move on to the second step, which is finding Thevenin resistance. Okay, let's do that. I will erase the board. Okay, next we will have the second step, which is finding the Thevenin resistance. Okay, finding the Thevenin resistance, I will first try the first method here. So the first method is by shorting terminal A and B. So we can just short this. Okay, that's a bad wire, but okay, that's okay. And because this is shorted, there is n there will be no current that pass through this 15 ohm resistor. But yeah, just erase it. But just remember that the value there is 15 ohm. Maybe we will need to use it later. So let's see. Okay, now we face similar situation with the step one. So let's do KCL at not I. Okay, we first have 5i plus 10i plus 4vx is equal to 0. Okay, now we will have this 15i plus 4vx and vx is we know already is minus 5i so that will equal to 0. Okay, we will have minus 5i is equal to 0 so I will have i is equal to 0 ampere. Okay, now we have the short circuit current so usually we can use that to get Thevenin voltage, which is Thevenin resistance. So the Thevenin voltage divided by the short circuit current. And in this case, the Thevenin voltage is zero, but I is also zero. Zero is and zero is undefined. So we need to try another way. So because this cannot get us to the result, we need to use the second method. Okay, I will use the second method. And remember that we have that 15 ohm resistor there. So that is 15. And let's plug a voltage source here. Okay, and let's say that this voltage is 1 volt. You can use any value here, So, but I will use 1 volt. Okay, now I already have loop I here, so I will have another loop that going here. Let's name this I2. So the goal is to find out the I2 that going there. So in this node, we will know the voltage and the current that going there. And from there, we can calculate the Thevenin resistance. Okay. This is not KCL at node 1. This is KVL at loop I. Okay, now we start from KVL again, KVL at loop I. Okay, we will start from here, so 5I plus 10I plus 4VX plus, this is 15, and then we have I that going through here. But we also have I2, which is going to the same direction as I. So I will have add them. And all of them is equal to 0. So let's do algebra here. 5 plus 10 is 15. 15 plus 15 is 30. So I will have 30I. And then plus 4V. 
Vx, Vx is remember minus 5i and then plus 15i2. Okay, that will equal to 0 and this is 30 plus 20, 30 plus minus 20, so I will have 10i plus 15 i2 is equal to 0 so this is the maximum that we can get from loop i so let's save this as equation number one and let's do another loop so i will have kvl at loop 2 so loop i2 KVL at loop I2 and I will have this voltage source first and the current is flowing from negative to positive so I will have minus 1 then plus this resistance is 15 multiplied by I2 but here I is flowing to the same direction so I will have plus I and that will equal to 0 and I can move this one to the right hand side and I can open the parentheses. So I will have 15i plus 15i2 is equal to 1. Okay, let's save this as equation number 2. Okay, now we can use elimination. So let's use the fact that we have equation number two minus equation number one so equation number two is this so we'll have 15 i plus 15 i2 is equal to one and equation one is 10 i plus 15 i2 is equal to zero and let's subtract this and I will have 5i is equal to 1 and that will get us to i is 0 0.2 ampere but we need i2 so we can just substitute this into equation number 1 or equation number 2 let's do it into equation number two so I will have 15 multiplied by 0 0.2 plus 15 I2 is equal to 1 so I will have 3 plus 15 I2 is equal to 1 so I will have I2 is minus 2 divided by 15 ampere okay so I will have this current here I2 that going there so that is minus 2 over 15 Okay, now we have the fact in this node the voltage is 1 volt and the current that's going there is minus 2 over 15 so from there we can calculate the Tevenin value okay I will erase this and do the calculation there so according to Ohm's law the resistance will be the voltage in this node which is 1 divided by the current that going there and the voltage here is 1 volt and the current is minus 2 over 15 which is equal to minus 15 divided 2 and that will be minus 7.5 ohm 
So I got the Tevenin voltage is zero volt, and then the Tevenin resistance is minus seven point five ohm. So we can draw the circuit here. with the voltage value is 0 volt and then a resistance value is minus 7.5 ohm so I will have this terminal and this terminal terminal A and terminal B this is the final circuit that we are looking for Okay, let me know if you find any mistakes in my calculation. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.